Okay guys, I'm back in Wandering Waves. We're playing X6 right now. We're back here. General. Yes, how's it going? We have 500 remaining soldiers prepared okay, and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote, however, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the... I see. Stay alert. We will continue as planned. Report any sign. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the right, sir. Okay. And now we're playing as GM, right? Yeah. Okay. Stronger emotional connection to the. I should go for another round of inspection. Here we go. X six. Let's go. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one, but let's see how long can we finish this. Um. Right. I just started the game, so there's gonna be lag. Ha, oh, god damn it. Alright. Can we really try stack matter? I do think we should be careful. Something's wrong with this room. Hey, you see? The raindrops. They're falling off. It's the retroactive. That day, as the rain fell. The retroag rain should have been a harmless wave-worn phenomenon. However, the Thronodian's influence enhanced its effect, turning that battle into a brutal slaughter. Our city could not endure another tragedy like that. Oh boy. The plan is simple. We will use the cliffs as a boundary to divide the battle. Our ranged units will secure the high ground while our ground forces charge through the narrow valley. Meanwhile, we will deploy resonators to the suspended ruins where most of the tacit discords are located. Squads two and three will flank while General Geshu leads squad one to break the So this is the previous uh, general. Our goal this one is, is to shift from defense to offense and disrupt their strategies. Everything is at stake here. In a word, it's victory or death. Our strategic plan was crafted three years ago, taking into account the terrain and Norfall Barrens. That was three years ago. Its value remains crucial today, but now our enemies are even stronger than before. There could be unknown risk factors. We must devise a new plan for the current situation. Wait, there's more here. This guy packs a serious punch! It's already so powerful! Careful! Tacitite weapons are not so safe to- Rest assured, I'll take out those monsters before it blows up in my face. The Ministry of Development once designed a weapon for non-resonator units to combat Tacitite. tacit discord. As non-resonators lack the necessary forte to control the weapon, and prolonged exposure to tacitite energy posed tacit health risks. Part, tacitite. Designers limited its output for safety reasons. That's why the weapons couldn't operate at full power. After taking over as general, I revamped the Midnight Rangers recruitment tactics. Our primary combat units now consist of resonators, with a significant decrease in non-resonator members who have been reassigned to support roles. I still remember the admirable courage in those ordinary people's eyes as they volunteered to join the military. But I cannot let more unnecessary casualties happen. Okay. Let's join the Riverside Games after we beat that monster. The Riverside Games? You won first place in the last armed race, remember? Then don't back out now. I don't... We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. If everything goes well, perhaps we can hold it again this year. Hmm. That's it, right? Oh, wait. Seeing this here, is it another illusion caused by the retroact rain? Hmm. General, General, we've got all equipment repaired, tactile weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. Is this, is this an illusion? But. The rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? Is it the rain going up? combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. 
You've seen it firsthand. However, 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 I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. What is his name? Sir, his name is... Yeah. This guy is... Oh. He was the medic last time. General. Help, help, help. Please. Help me. What do you make of this, Gian? What? Maybe you were right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual. This is also but illusion, but. This is our only chance. The enemy we've been yearning to destroy is finally right before us. And now, you're asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Silence. Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? No. Let me see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren? Friends and comrades, as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes, one by one. Will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer? There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The retroact rain merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We will crush anything in our path. No questions asked. And I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands, see that, but this is also die, so be oh. it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day? If you were in my position, whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such what? silence and cowardice. Hello? Excuse me? Hold up. Alright, I didn't test my movements. Guys, really talking right now. Ow, hold up. Tell the truth from the side. General Gershu Lin. Oh, this is General Gershu Lin. Okay. We fight to protect what we cherish. Ah. 
Thanks. We cherish our comrades again. not out of cowardice or fear, <clears throat> but out of trust. The trust in their lives worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, stop it so, though. As I see it, we're cut from the same cloth. You and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop with nothing to see it through. Hmm. Wow. <coughs> General! General, you look pale. I am fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon. The moon. It's gradually oh no, now. the moon. As you predicted, the sky. It looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the crescent. It's time. Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. Attention all troops. Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, the roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Oh, what? Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? Wait, that's the girl just now. Scar's other partner. Find the boss. Now what? It looks almost full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover, maybe this is the right time Madam Magistrate was talking about. Citizens of Jinjo, please remain <laughs> calm and evacuate in an orderly manner as we practiced during previous drills. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our Magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. 
We knew this was coming, and we were ready, but, oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane. Thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have taken us much longer to handle this. Oh, Director Tao Chi is here, too. For a better rundown of the situation, you I'm can gonna find her the city gate. Rover Spectre. Okay, you're on move. And that's all we've gathered so far. If the wounded can't be transferred to hospitals in time, take them to my tea house and boxing gym. We can set up temporary medical points there. Thank you, Mr. Yuan. As a citizen, it is my obligation to aid in the face of this immense... Are you all right, young miss? This is one of the largest TD outbreaks I've witnessed. There have already been quite a few casualties. It seems far from... Over. I still have some supplies with me. Please, take them. Thank you. Stay safe. I must send these supplies. To You're injured. Please go get yourself patched up. She says right. Please leave it to us. We'll help deliver these supplies. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Rover, Yang Yang and I need to get this stuff delivered. Director Tao Chi should be at the Northern Pass. We'll go meet you there as soon as we're done. All right then. Tao Chi. Yeah. Is this another guy? Are you still up for another fight or two? Oh, this is a serious instructor. Don't underestimate us, sir. We'll make sure those TDs leave defeated. <laughs> Good. That's the spirit. Remember what I've taught. Safety first. Then take down as many of them as you can. Understood? Aye, sir. Oh, it's up there. Uncle and Alto are here as well. Tauchi. Any update on the protective barrier? We've put in all our resources to repair it. But if those tacit discords keep coming at us, it might not hold up for long. <laughs> ah, I presume you must be Rover. Hmm, maybe we've met somewhere before. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi, a director at the Ministry of Development. I'm in charge of our defense fortification. Thank you for lending us a hand. It's our defense system against the Retroact Rain. It does a good job of keeping the city safe from the rain's effects. Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinjo City. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The Retroact Rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the Etheric Sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places, allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's how we see all those illusions. And that's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. The more you're exposed to the rain, the more realistic those phantoms become. Oh. And here's another interesting fact about the Retroact Rain. When it's raining across a large area, illusions pulled from the memories of multiple people can manifest at once. Nice catch, Rover. Jinzhou has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has to deal with the Thrinodian that represents the concept of war. And wars will lead to deaths. Once the Retroact Rain reaches its final stage, there will be thousands of phantoms. Phantoms of dead soldiers and tacit discords. This is the one major threat that has been looming over Jinjo. Our magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed, the phantoms should only mechanically repeat what yeah. they had been doing. They shouldn't have the ability to interfere with reality. But, we saw the but the now. retroact rain can be significantly enhanced through the Thrinodian's power. As a result, set phantoms become increasingly realistic, 
to the point of inflicting real harm on humans. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Northal Barrens or produced by Retroact Rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers repeated their indiscriminate attacks on everything in their sight. Soldiers could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades, etched in vivid detail. Wow. The Norfolk Barons turned into a living hell, and to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. The battle beneath the Crescent was humanity's first recorded encounter with Retroact Rain enhanced by Thernodian power. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. Those videos provided crucial information, which allowed nations worldwide to speed up their research on defense against the Retroact Rain. Our people on the Black Shores have theorized that the Thernodian abnormal moon sightings and the Retroact Rain may be linked. Yeah, something like that. But it's only a theory. We don't have enough data to verify anything, so unfortunately, we can't predict Retroact Rains yet. But we know it's closely connected with Thernodian's reviving. The TD outbreaks are another sign. The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thernodian's revival is never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. The revival of the Thernodian and Jinjo will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the teeth of space. Recalibrate our lament detector and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, we'll take our leave now. Please stay safe. Okay. <laughs> what? That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Ma, there's another wave of them ahead. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. <laughs> Activate the defense mechanisms! Alright. <clears throat> Oh, Verena is healing it. everyone else. Oh, shit. Oh, Lin Yang. You haven't seen him yet. Everyone else. Okay. We have Ling Yang, I never used Ling Yang yet. Oh shit. Oh, I just realized the other guys that are battling are Tao Chi and Wat Yang Wu. That means all the other characters are also helping. It's not just four of us. Holy shit! Look at it. This is like co op, man. This is literally everyone. And they are, and they are in here with us. We made it. Oh, thank you so much. 
It's dangerous here. Let's head back first. So yeah, Yuan Wu, where was Tao Chi? <laughs> you saw Tao Chi just now. Everyone was here, what the hell? Holy shit, that's so cool. Uh, please tell me this is the last one. Rover, your moves are sharp as always. Dealing with so many TDs seem like a walk in the park for you. Rover, do you see that? The moon. Now, it's almost identical to what we saw three years ago during the battle beneath the Crescent. I'm afraid we're already running out of time. Report the situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier has been fully repaired and we have evacuated all residents. We've successfully minimized the damage. Well done, Director Taoshi. I cannot sit back and wait for Julie to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Yeah, we have also, we our have experts should be ready by now. Yang, we have you, Verena, and Tao Chi as well. Rover, do you still remember Julie's message for you? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream. And the Midnight Rangers General and the Norfolk Barons ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Julie was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Trinodian. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats. Regardless of the outcome of this battle, may victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinjiao about your trip to the front line. <coughs> all right. You have been granted unlimited access to all places. Yang Yang, you are one of our outriders. I hope you can go with Rover and provide assistance. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to reach our base in the Desert Rock Highland. Please, be careful. Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? <laughs> wow, thanks, Rover. Can't believe you still remember that title. I'll live up to it for sure. Holy shit. There's one more here. Two more. It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. In the city. What if... Rest assured, you can count on me. I will keep everyone safe. Me too. Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop. We got this! <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. Rover, Yang Yang, safe travels. I've informed General Jian that you're heading to his place. He will be meeting up with you soon. May victory prevail the lasting night. Let's go. So we're still with uh, him and Yang Yang. Rover and Yang Yang so far. <laughs> Are we still uh, using the trial? Or <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Defend the south gate! Enemy attack weakening! 
Back to the end again. Tell truth on the side. Discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. So I guess we're gonna meet up with GN and he's gonna be in our party. Definitely. Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier has been activated and citizens are being evacuated to the safe zone. Washu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. The Baiju is overseeing Baiju? operations at the oh, academy, while Mortafi has arrived at the ministry. Oh, nice. Rest assured, we are all safe in the city. And that rover, he is heading over to meet you. Yang Yang is coming with him. I see. We have successfully contained the outbreak here at the base. I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency fluctuations detected. Oh boy. They'll be <clears throat> passing through that area. I must create a safe passage for them. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. Let's go. A couple more tacit discords here. Time to get rid of them. This one is so cool. It's ultimate attack. Tell truth from the sun. Oh shit, we have to fight that. We fought that already. About to it fight is the natural bosses. to feel dreadful of the unknown. So it doesn't really matter if we have to build them or not. We are playing as them. That's good. They're found in some more tacit discords. Be careful. Oh, tacit. Oh. Those illusions we think are tacit discords. It's not them. Oh, Synchronization. Sounds come forth. Now we have a problem. We do not have a healer. <laughs> so this is gonna be tough. Yen. The rhetoric brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There, another wounded soldier. Is this is this a real the or? The streams are stabilizing. 
<laughs> I don't feel him. What are the illusions? Are you? Okay, are you no. Yang Yang? Oh, thank goodness. What happened here? The thundering Mephis. It came back. I'm... I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland Supply Transport Team. This is where our supply station is. We work to keep our soldiers alive. We were on our way. Had to go through this tacit field thundering Mephis. The rain brought it back to life. In the end, I barely escaped. This place is dangerous. Careful. Please. Oh, boy. We're gonna fight the thundering Mephis again. Oh shit, there it is. Watch out. The end. Oh yes. It's him. General G General G N, yeah. They cut off. <coughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh shit. Let's go. We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Level 15. Swift and resolute. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear the command. I sense your weakness. This is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. Ooh. As long as more soldiers are still dying Ooh. here, Five. it will always return. Not to mention, countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General. Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. first time meeting the honor is mine rover madam magistrate and tao chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us thank you for lending us a hand i should properly welcome you with huang loan's formalities but as the current situation forbids that i'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. <laughs> Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. Oh, we have Antidote, right. Okay, that will... While the Antidote help. cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. For someone to show up as a phantom in the Retroact Rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain, and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the Gorges of Spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Mm. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thrunodian. Julie prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. Lost power? I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Yes. Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thrinodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilune. Once it fully takes shape, 
Over Thrax, the Thrinodian of war would be reawakening soon. It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thrinodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become nice. harder to deal with. For music, I'm like, seriously? Uh. <laughs> to remain calm in such an extreme situation, your composure is admirable well, indeed. Your point. We'll get Let's into go. the specifics once we reach our base. All right. This drive is gonna be a long one, so I've taken care really of all the tacit discords nearby on my way no, here. No, no, no. The path ahead should no, be relatively no, safe now. Keep going, and we'll reach the base soon. I'm pretty sure this is a place we went before. Yeah, so. I have walked through around this area just to open up the, the map. But damn, we can use trial characters for the whole axis. That is so cool, we don't have to use our own built ones. Fighting that? That is it, like a rock from here. What? Okay, it's a shield. Overthrax's towering statue, towering built statue. from repurposed weapons and debris, <coughs> has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. to gravely injure it three years ago making the statue sink into the water and now it just resurfaced our enemy must be eager to strike the vanguard base is right up ahead let's hurry over greetings general hey Jensen. I didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Jun Chin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barons to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, cries and moans can be heard as if many ghosts are weeping. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. The heavens and the earth form a vast chamber where spirits freely depart and countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Trinodian, but we must be aware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. All right. I 
I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. We have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Oh boy, we have four of us. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfolk Barrens. Norfolk the Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the <coughs> Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover. Let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? On the cliffs, you can have better aim. Behind infantry units, that is... Among, they will charge as one. Ah, uh, I think... Would this be a good idea? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. Mm. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? enemy lines, a small group of our forces will enter through gaps in their formation and attack from the rear. Would that be good? This maneuver takes time and requires caution to avoid detection, particularly in a valley where evasion is difficult. Small infiltration forces may stay hidden, but risk being overwhelmed by enemy attacks. Alternatively, diverting forces could lead to losing on the main front. Mm -hmm. I have little knowledge of what's happening behind enemy lines. Better not act rashly. This may not be the best strategy. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Ooh, so that was wrong. Okay. We could divert some forces to flank the enemy, disrupting their formation and gaining an edge. What? However, a successful outflank requires a wide battlefield, but the small passage of Norfolk Barrens limits our options for movement. So and if it's a wrong option, we are discussing why it's not a good idea. Our diversion could leave our front line vulnerable. It may not be the best strategy. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Now that the <clears> narrow <throat> terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head-on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. 
Lastly, the Special Task Force, all resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the Special Task Force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. <laughs> this is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yue Hui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Yes, sir! And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Shen That's to cool. create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the North Fall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General GM. Oh, Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? In theory, we could. In practice, it's first it could dodge our attack. Not even a perfect hit can kill it. Thronodians have been proven to be way stronger than we imagined. Our disruptor can't handle the Overthrax, but it can certainly break through that barrier. Any questions? That's because this ancient disruptor dates back at least to the founding of Jinja. Creating such a powerful weapon with limited technology back then, Whoever did it was truly a genius. If we were to unleash its full power on Jinjo City, it might launch the entire place into the air. Any questions? I can, but it takes time. No matter how fast I build it, Jinjo won't be able to hold out for that long. Any questions? Okay. By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baja, please fill us in. Yes. Grover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing That's in. Not good. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. Jian Xin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. Okay. This is a testament uh. to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now. We're back to our characters, but... It's time to get serious. The Skylark song is about to sound. Oh man, I didn't open that part yet.
kill still. <laughs> have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack. We've blocked off access to protect our base. Please, they need your help. Rook. Alright then. Take the elevator. Take this one. Thank goodness there's this. Back to trial again. Okay, I thought we were using our uh, pants. So where, where was uh, <laughs> where was our arena? Swift and resolute. Let the wind roar. Oh, what the sounds? We should be safe now. I hope he's all right. Let's go check on him. Where? That guy just now? Cheryl, yeah. is that you? Oh no. <sighs> is that so? We know how important this cannon is. <coughs> we kept it safe. <coughs> Shit. Oh no. This. Reparation key. Oh, I may not see our victory in person. Oh, but please, please defeat that monster for us. Thank you. No, 
hesitation. There we go. <coughs> GM. Oh shit. General. We have a full team. Let's go. Well done. Rain is stopped. General, oh, it's stopped. The retroact rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Northall Barrens. The disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire. But um, it takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed. <coughs> This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? Jinxie? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I have obtained the approval to use the disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision, I will bear the responsibility. Oh boy, don't miss. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover. Please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs! Oh boy, here we go. Fire! Well, that didn't miss at all. It was right in front. How could you miss that? <laughs> so there was a risk of missing, but the target is right directly in front. How would you miss? Okay, let's go. The North Forbearance, huh? Uh, and we have Jensen. I never. I only used her once. Oh shit, let's go. Everyone's level 50. Oh, oh. Holy shit. It's lagging. <laughs> but it's fine. This is like the only time we can use four players. Four try. Oh, watch out. Oh, GN second. Let's go. Here. Oh, we're splitting up. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me. Oh no, we're splitting up. That's a sign. This is really the final. Oh, we're back to three. Follow me. We're going down from here. We're sliding. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. It's another area. Storm, hear the command! 
swift and resolute. Okay. The suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon here is still functioning, and the defense feature is intact, too. We can catch our breath here. The Overthrax assault has been as brutal as expected. We've been cut off from our main forces. It's the three of us against all of them from here. Master Tianzi. I tried to contact her and our base, but nothing came back. The Thronodian's power is possibly interfering with terminal signal. We have no choice but to trust them now. We're bound to face a vicious fight. We've reached the suspended ruins. We'll get going once we're ready. We'll open that area uh, first. Let's go. It's unusually quiet inside. Tread with caution. This wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple. Oh, we can use the grapple? Corroded walls and debris. We used the grapple. Okay, I thought we were supposed to throw something. has been cut off. We're not seeing anything at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. This is at the boss area. Oh boy. Set creating a tacit discord at this level. But it won't stop us. What is it? Swift and resolute, one with the sounds. Tell truth with the song. All right. Well, okay. <sighs> okay. As expected, the enemies are increasingly strong <coughs> as we approach this. Have you been injured, Rover? You're yeah. right. I'm okay, but Rover, he. Give me your hand. Has left you with a few scratches. I still have some first aid with me. The upcoming battles will be even more dangerous. Let's keep moving. Let's go. Don't worry about me. That's a bit. No. Is there another full thing or something? Oh, I didn't realize. Go <laughs> there. There are several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that's so cool. <coughs> Fighting again. Finale. Wind rider. <coughs> Wind rider. Swift and resolute. Nice. These rocks are blocking our way. Finally. Rover, our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. We'd love to thoroughly investigate it once we have the chance. Now back to business. <laughs> we are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the disruptor's range. You've seen what the disruptor is capable of. We can turn down the output power. Oh, you're I gonna strongly fire. advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. <coughs> to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps... Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves over. Nice. 
and there's a chest here. Mortify, it's time. Understood. Watch out, everyone. We did it. All right. The disruptor's power is down to one third. We can only fire it one more time. After that, yeah, it now. needs to recharge. Okay. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby. Don't give any time. Oh, this is so cool. This is actually so cool. I want to press T. Speeding up. Let's try pulling floating boulders together. We should make a path ahead. How? Oh, boulders. One moment over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can work the terrain to our advantage here. Let's try to pull that wall down on them. They'll be trapped on LOL! <laughs> Insta kill. Okay. Same situation. Let's do it again. LOL! <laughs> Insta kill. That's so good. That's so broken. An impermanence here. Oh, we have a boss. I didn't remember this boss. But this is different. Okay. Tell Trip for the sun. Swift and resolute. The end has come. On with the sounds. You worry. No. Ah, and I don't have arena to kill. No hesitation. Tell truth from the sun. Wind rider. Oh. Time to fight back. Nope, no, 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 no. Nice hunter. Shake the shakeless. Let's go. Oh, he's hitting. He's hitting already. Come on. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. Moment of resonance. Let me be your dream. Synchronization. Ah, oh, he has a shield already. Oh shit, what is this? Oh shit. It's over. Ah. Oh. So many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting strong. We don't have much time left. Let's go, let's go. Let's We're not done. Damn, we're fighting, fighting all the bosses. I can see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. They pull the rocks away first. Right, they might carry us up there. Okay. We have to go there. <laughs> the chest. I wonder if I missed any. For supplies. Uh, I might have uh, missed some. Damn, this is so cool. It moved a little. Let's give it a couple more goes. Almost there. the top soon okay the road ahead 
head is completely blocked off. You <coughs> choose where the disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. Oh no, we're gonna choose. May it cleave out a path for us. It's not not the nice here along this. Yeah. Oh what? Uh oh. This amount of enemies. We cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. Hmm? The Trinodian is only going to summon more oh, no. as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. But I think I'm better suited for this task. Oh no. We all want to beat the Brinodian once and for all. He's speeding up again. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I... Do not want to let it slip away. Okay. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. I've witnessed the faith and fortitude of so many on our way here. It's time I fulfill their trust. Wilmer, please leave it to me. I'll have you back. All right. Now, Rover, please make the call. Oh no, um, don't let this be a wrong option. I'll stand guard here. The Trinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. Right there. <coughs> Good thing is both the same option though. It seems the culprit is hidden deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Ready. Rover, are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. <coughs> Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. Why right, should we go? Enter Warblade from above. It's just the two of us now. Resurrection point activate, okay. That's another moon. What on earth is happening? Oh shit. Is that a crown list? Oh, is this the another crownless. one? Yeah, it is a crownless. The Trinodian has reconstructed its frequencies. The crownless is back. Oh boy, you again. Just the two of us. There's a voice. Okay. 
set its voice or I For its ranged attacks. Oh, what the hell done? Have you noticed? What? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our Ah, enemy. hold up, I cut. This thing is weakening. I'll shoot you. Use that to send off projectiles. Find a chance to strike its core. How the hell are we supposed to do that? How are we supposed to aim the pawn? Ah, oh, fuck. Copied my weapon already. It's copying? Okay. Holy shit, holy shit, hold up. Whoa! Ow. What the hell is this? <laughs> How are we supposed to aim? What are we supposed to do? Oh no, the child left the party. Yeah, no. <coughs> I saw Gian left the party. That's the bad sign. Oh no. What we're gonna do? Oh shit! Is he gonna absorb? <laughs> Power of friendship. Huh? Wait, what? Holy shit, what was that? The robot just grew weak. Wait, what is this?
Wait, is our rover different now? Rover Havoc Dealing Havoc damage and gaining Umbar stacks with each attack Rover can unleash the power of the heavy attack enter the dark search state What? So the skills are different? Mother needs weapons Oh shit 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 Level 55 I just realised Oh shit. Wait, let me let me take a look. Rover hammer. F Oh yes, let's go. GN is back. Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> like that email. Oh fuck. Down the curtain. the sun. the best boss battle so far <laughs> what is this? Holy shit! Is this the creature that's in Europa? Food. I want food. Yeah, this is the creature that's with in Europa. Literally like a Paimon. As the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. And 
what is this? <laughs> they just saved us. Rover, is that? That's Rover's ability. This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. That was the one that eat the TV. <laughs> Okay, what about this rover that we just got? What is this? Have a rover? <laughs> Holy shit, you got wings, man. I didn't realize. None shall whisper. Damn. Remnants of the past. That was so cool, man. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness <coughs> out of sight. From the statue emerged two, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Nice. Oh. Amid setbacks, heroes will rise to right. conquer. Even, even. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled divine rule <laughs> roaring <laughs> above. Yeah. Now victorious, yeah. our songs yeah. of yeah. triumph yeah. shall be remembering the names already. <laughs> and our story. But what was on. that creature with us? The Paimon like creature. This is a <laughs> that is always to hungry. <laughs> hungry for tested this card. Hey. What are we here? X6 complete. This is a test to my connection shit. with the world. Okay. Wait, is that the end? Now something else. So that's the end of chat uh, X6. Okay. And that's <laughs> I thought we have some more dialogue a bit, but I guess not. That that was just it. <laughs> wow, okay. Hold on. I have a question. How do we Oh uh, yeah, con resonance conversion I thought? Select rover. View current attribute. Yo, we have a different. So it's like light and dark. Spectro is light, huh? so Havoc is dark. Oh, that's so cool. You know what? I can see this happening for Genshin Traveler. You know, once we have. Uh, actually, we should. We, we should. Uh, I won't say we should, but travelers should have this way. <laughs> this is cool way. You can change elements in here. And this is the dark one, right? Does this apply to Spectro? I guess not. Damn, X6 was so cool. Eh? And I'm glad it's quite fast paced. It didn't drag so long. I could finish it in one and a half hours. I thought it's gonna be longer than that. Okay. Well. But it ended so sudden. Oh, okay, level 25. Nice. So I think that'll be it for this video. Still got time for me <laughs> to do some other stuff after this. Okay. 
I'm done with the main story. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.